All right, everybody, Baron here, and welcome back to Kingdoms and Castles. Oh my gosh, look at this cute and quaint little town. That's weird. It's like a river with a with a city on both sides. Like the city's been split down the middle by this beautiful river. Kind of like, oh, I don't know, what's that city from Lord of the Rings? Oh, Osgiliath. Well, that can't be Osgiliath unless there's a a Minas Tirith. Wait a minute. This is a cute little road. Look at these seagulls. They're frozen in time. Well, not really. They're actually kind of moving. Oh my god, that's creepy. Anyway, peruse, peruse. Oh my god, it's Minas Tirith. I, I almost said Helm's Deep. Don't, don't give me the cave trolls. But, look at this. This is Minas Tirith. Now, before we get into that, there have been so many changes to kingdoms and castles that I decided to stream. Now, I stream over on Facebook. I decided to stream a new gameplay. Now, when you look at the buildings that were added, um, well, let's go over some of them. They added the fire brigade, and you can see that I have one over here. And the fire brigade's cool in that it employs professional firefighters to help in extinguish fires. Um, professional firefighters run faster and put out fires three times faster than village volunteers. So that's kind of in the advanced town area. Or rather, in the town, rather. <laughs> now, we've also got the cemeteries, which were added. We got the bathhouses, the cathedral, the great library. Now, one of the newer things, though, is a clinic, which is like a baby hospital. And when you look at the price, you get one of those early. And I actually have one of those guys running around here as well. That's a library. Not to be confused with the clinic right here, which heals people. So, I've got... Where's my hospital? My hospital's inside these castle walls. I decided to make... I, I, I found a really cool map, and this is basically like Louisiana and Cuba. Now, I'm going to be streaming this on occasion over on Facebook, so if you want to see it there. But also, if you want to become an occasional series here, I could bring in a big custom battle and then kind of do a little bit of kingdom building. But this, I saw as Australia, and this is the island of Tasmania, and those are islands that you can kind of, you know, land on and summon as well. So, we've got the three little islands, and then we've got the main one here. And I decided to kind of make it classic castle where, you know, the kingdom in his keep is behind these big walls. But don't worry, we're going to be jumping to the Battle of Minas Tirith in a moment, which is going to be truly epic. But I just wanted to get a feeler and, you know, ask you guys if you wanted to see um, more gameplay or an occasional series, maybe like once every two weeks, something like that. I don't know. Depending on how the feedback is, you know, we've been bringing back some old series. Hey! I know, some of you guys want to see Home Wars, who wants to see Home Wars? Now, we also have stone bridges, which are pretty cool. And then I think that, for the most part, is it. There's also, like, the witches and wolves and stuff like that. I think we have a witch on Australia. There she is. Yeah, so that's the witch's hut. We must settle this land before we can approach the witch. And how do you know she's a witch? Because she looks like one. I mean, we've been over this. And then here are the wolves, which are also kind of like an AI threat, but... From what I understand, they're working on rival kingdoms, which is an idea we proposed a long time ago. So, this is Minas Tirith, right? And wait a minute, is that a British flag? Oh, look! It's Mighty Mapper's logo. He is a Brit. He made this map. I asked him to. He's like, Baron, you, you want anything done? And I was like, dude, mate. Dude, mate. Dude, mate. And he's probably like, oh my gosh, an American saying mate again. I'm like, you want mate? Anyway, and I also dropped a few hello governors, you know, which I'm sure he loved, isn't it? Anyway, now that we've gotten all those, like, you know, patriarchal memes out of the way, we... He made this map, and it's amazing, and I highly encourage you to check out his channel because he makes some of the most fantastical things that I've seen in different games, like Kingdoms and Castles, in Men of War specifically, where he made the Armyman series, which we showed off a, while, a little bit ago. So anyway, we're going to be making Minas Tirith here, or rather, finishing it off. And then we are going to be partaking in the largest battle that has beset these parts. So the first thing we're going to need, obviously, is defenders of the realm. Because this is Pelennor Fields, right? Between us, Gilead and uh, Minas Tirith here. But we're going to need the equipment, the equipment, to siege, or rather counter the siege. So I'm thinking... Minas Tirith, ooh, I like these these elevated towers. Those are going to have ballistas on them because we don't have trebuchets, we don't have catapults, and Minas Tirith was defended by a great many things. It's so hard to do regular conversation. Then, like, certain words come up and you're like, and you just think about, oh my gosh. Like, actually, that was a Star Wars quote. You are wrong about a great many things. Anyway. We need a chamber of war, do we? Put one of those back there. 
Let's get a great hall. Oh yeah, that's so great and beautiful. And then we'll get a barracks. We'll put the barracks. Where do we want to put the barracks? All right, so the first layer... What I don't like either is you can't get... Can you get rid of these? Yeah, I'm not sure you can get rid of them, but one of the things we can do is... Adding gold. Where does the gold get added? Well, there's no treasury first off, is there? We can fix this. There we go. So by adding gold, it gets rid of those uh, obnoxious little things, which are very important when you're playing the regular game because they let you know that you're out of gold, right? All right, so naturally, since we're limited, right, in what we can do here, because we've only got really three ways we can defend this place, and that is with archer towers, ballista towers, and here we go, we'll put a ballista. Yeah. How about yeah? We can only put those, right? But it'd be cool to have catapults, mangonels, and trebuchets. I mean, trebuchets have their own subreddit, right? Why can't we have trebuchets here in Kingdoms and Castles? Now, one of the things I love is Kingdoms and Castles continues to get updated. But when you think about it, the updates come incredibly slowly. And that's nothing to knock the developers. At all. I mean, like, I don't- we don't game dev. I mean, some of you might, but, you know, I do not, so I can only dream, and I do, about what it's like. But I- I can't help but wonder if they were to let the community just run wild. Like, we don't even have Steam Workshop support. This is the- here we go. Kingdoms and Castles developers, you guys have made an amazing game, and I love it, and I know many of us do. We'll put a little ballista there, but it would be amazing if we had Steam Workshop support even just for sharing maps. Like, wouldn't it be great if I could share with you guys via the Steam Workshop, hey, you know, well this <laughs> Mighty Mapper could share with you, hey, this is Minas Tirith, right? And if I made Helm's Deep, or when I find a really cool seed, I can obviously give you the seed itself, but you know, like, wouldn't it be cool to make one where people could be like, oh, I made the, you know, the world, all seven continents. Or I made Europe, medieval Europe, and you could, like, kind of have different... I mean, wouldn't that be dope? And then we could just play that, and it would be glorious. Alright, so we're gonna need a few more ballistas. And another thing, I don't know about, like, modding buildings, but it would be cool if that could work. Oh, yeah, that's glorious. So, Minas Tirith had seven walls, so let's count. One wall, two walls, three walls, four walls, five walls, six walls, and it's about seven walls here. That's cool, but like, wouldn't it be cool if it, modders would totally figure out a way to do this because they're incredibly talented? Where you'd have the old tree, right? But also, like, just being able to have trebuchets and catapults, and like, the Viking ship has a catapult on it. What if the Vikings themselves could come up and like mount catapults and, and move them towards the walls? And you could have actually, like, I don't know, then it could become, I don't know, like, it'd be interesting to have like RTS elements that would be. I don't know. Let the modders break the game and learn new things and find out new stuff. Crowd-funded ideas, updates, and development is not a bad thing. Especially when you look at a game that's amazing and as beautiful as Kingdoms and Castles, but is as, you know, the updates are few and far between, right? And, I mean, how long have we played this? I think, I think when we played, um, when I made Helm's Deep, that was like nine, ten months ago? I really am curious, what is the oldest- I'm gonna look it up. Whoa! We're getting close to two years ago. On March 14th, 2017, I played Kingdoms and Castles for the first time. Alright, so the castle itself is pretty well defended, I think. And actually that gets me to thinking we should probably save it now, at this point, because we're definitely going to be making some changes. We have 275 beds and no people. We've, we've got eight whole people. So here's Osgiliath. Now, one of the things about Osgiliath was we're going we're gonna to try out these new stone bridges, which can't be made over the deep water. <laughs> uh, can we make piers? <laughs> All right, well, they're going to have to do an amphibious landing, but that's not going to be a problem. Although, technically, there's people over here. There's some people working the hospital. It'd be cool to be able to make ruins. This is an outpost right here. Hello, sir! This is the colony of, uh, the Quiet Hamlet. And this is the other, you know, much larger side. Now, we're gonna need some defenses here. And I'm thinking we show off one of the new, new components here. Being the Fire Brigade. We're gonna want one of them over here. Professional, f uh, firefighters. 
are far better than amateur. We're gonna want some wells. All right, so we've got some pretty cool bridges here. Or rather, lack of bridges. We got some cool roads. Because Osgiliath had like two or three roads, and I've kind of slightly modified it from what Mighty Macker, what he, my, Mighty Mapper gave me. Oh man, look at this. The cemeteries over here makes it look very ominous and dead. I like that little bit of a touch. Very nicely done. So here is the beautiful cathedral, and we've got a cemetery out here, which is one of the new things as well. The, another cool thing that I like is when you look at the defenses, We've got, like, these wooden walls, right? So you can, like, imagine Osgiliath having these makeshift, or just, like, other... any place, really. And we kind of have them in our play, is now we've got wooden gatehouses. But look at this, wooden walls can't exceed three, which is pretty cool. All right, so now it's time to add people here. Let's go ahead and add some. Go and populate the city. See, we've got to put all this food... Put all the food inside, please. And then we're gonna have to defend the walls. Oh man, look at these people running. They're all like, defend the walls! Get off the road! Or rather stay on it. Alright, so now we've got, I think... Are all the towers manned? They sure seem to be. All the archer towers, all the ballista towers, are even the ones in the outskirts of Osgiliath manned as well? Oh my gosh, this is fantastic. Okay, so I think I need to build another little bit of a suburb. All right, so now we're gonna have the first battle, the Battle of Osgiliath. So we're gonna go to... Here we go. We're gonna go to the river here, the fjords. Now, at first, the cool part was... Let's go ahead and get this going. They sent via boats. The Vikings are invading! Now, interestingly enough, the Vikings have decided to... Go over here. We're gonna send a little bit of a landing party. They're attacking this side because naturally there are targets to attack, which is kind of funny. So we have a few archers over here. Viking ship has destroyed. Now I'm wondering, look at this, look at this. What's, what's going on? We can't plant them anyway, but we gotta enjoy the Battle of Osgiliath here. The orcs are taking the other side, which would be what? The western side, I believe, of Osgiliath? No, naturally, Gondor, Minas Tirith is like to the west of Mordor. So naturally, all right, Vikings, have you have you had your way? Yeah, so they've taken, this would be the eastern side, and this is the western side. So now the Vikings are gonna what? I guess make off with everybody. So what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to create a giant army. So we're gonna pause it real quick. We're gonna create the massive invasion force. Now, Actually, you know, it, it, the Battle of Osgiliath still has to continue on, so let's add a few Viking raiders that, like, finally made it across. We're still having some issues here. <laughs> I forgot how, how, like, when you want to just add insane amounts of things, how the game just kind of like, Oh, hello! Would you like to have giant armies? That's cool. Some of them might not work, but don't worry. All right, so here is the sacking of Osgiliath. Wait till we have, finally, the Battle of Minas Tirith. The glorious battle that is, because it's like, apparently it's winter here. All right, are you are you satisfied and just sitting here getting taken? You know what? They also had some trolls. It's time. We're adding some big boy trolls, and for some goodness, Lord knows only reason. Oh, okay, that that works, dude. Osgiliath is absolutely just destroyed. Look at this. The rubble, man. I tell you what, Denethor is gonna be so mad. He's gonna be like, you know what? Faramir, you're not as cool as Boromir. I'm gonna- I'm really disappointed in you. You're not as cool as the older brother. And Faramir's like, Daddy never loved me. I'm gonna go run and get shot with arrows. Spoiler alert! Denethor was a jerk. Trolls, what is the deal, mates? Go destroy- destroy those towers, please. Okay? Like, this is- this is unbecoming. Oh, excuse me, we need to take these men to die! Oh, now all the trolls are going. Okay, so... They have won the Battle of Osgiliath. Look at this. Can you imagine? <laughs> it was once a beautiful city, one of the crown jewels of the Gondorian Empire, but now, after a little bit of creativity and a bunch of trolls and orcs, it is destroyed. And now only the remnants of kings long forgotten, like this man, who doesn't even have a proper beard and is petting a, a dog-sized deer. What is, the, what is wrong with a deer? Oh. Hello, Baron. We're the Pirates of Umbar. Well, 
You know what? Uh, if it would have worked, that'd be pretty dope. Alright, so we've gotta- we gotta create ourselves the battle lines. And then, obviously, we're gonna have the Knights of Rohan. Alright, so let's go with... Troll. Troll. Alright, so they're like, hey, we just got here! And who was the leader that really... Gamog or Gothmog? Wasn't his name Gothmog or something like that? The leader of the Mordorian armies? And these guys are all supposed to be going at the same time. Oh, that ballista's got some range. Giggity, giggity, go. They all went back and were like, eh, you know what? And one of them is decided to be a submarine. Is this new? They're marching on the bottom of the water? Now these poor fools are just sallying forth and getting cut down. But... I was expecting a big, this army to all walk, uh, together simultaneously and attack the walls, but it doesn't look like we're gonna get that, so we're probably gonna have wave attacks. Which brings to mind, wouldn't it be great if kingdoms and castles had, like, a tower defense mode that you could have, that you could make, and then share your, you know, situations on, Oh, they're coming this way, which is ungated. We need to fix that. Because they're just trying to, like, Get right through here. Somehow when I placed a wall, a viking was put right there. Alright, so that should turn the vikings to wanting to attack here. They did not all go together, and instead... Most of these trolls are just like, you know what? I'm gonna totally... You know, send Osgiliath back to the Stone Age, so... <laughs> this is a totally accurate version of Helm's Deep. And by Helm's Deep, I mean Minas Tirith. Why do I do that? It's winter, and the orcs... This must be one of the older battles, you know, between Gondor and Mordor, because, quite frankly, this isn't how I remembered it in the movies. Oh, look at these guys. He's like, hello, I'm an orc, and I'm bleeding out me faces. And these guys are like, oh, you know, I just, I just gotta take a dookie into here ground, because it's cold out. And there's less blood going to my stomach, so, it's, you know, the, the, I just had, like, a bunch of hobbits, and now they gotta go poo-poo. I mean, I gotta go poo-poo. I don't know. What's going on, man? This is absolutely absurd. Armies, what is your deal? What did we do? We're gonna have to delete that, because... Can I delete them? Oh, and you can't delete them once they're on the... on the map. Well, I tell you what. We got ourselves a bit of a situation here. I swear I just heard a cat go meow. All right, we're gonna put them closer to the walls. And the trolls are already turning. Oh man, that one's already pretty much dead. All right, does it work? This game is not set up, however, the trolls are doing very good. So all of these men are standing out there, which makes them look awesome, by the way. It's like, we are the armies of Mordor. Mordor. Grand. Oh man, imagine Grand rolling in here. The trolls are absolutely going ham sandwich on them. You know what? Well then, fine. If trolls are gonna be the only ones, maybe it's because the armies won't attack because there's no way in. So, what if we gave them a way in? Vikings! Oh my god, that's exactly what it took! Huzzah! Oh! Guys. Uh, yeah. So remember when I was like, oh yeah, the orc armies, they just don't want to show up today. They just need a way to get in. Grand. 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 Oh my gosh. The Dark Lord sends his millions of minions. And then Celeborn's out here like, where is Gandalf? I don't know, we don't have custom guys. Oh my god. Honestly, there's just no way that they stop this army. I, I, I don't see it happening, because this is the main force. Some of the trolls are like, ah, oh, you know, I'm just hanging out, mate. Just, uh, you know, let the little guys get in there and get their things. Let's see what it's like from the top view. Have you guys ever played the game uh, Stronghold, or Stronghold 2, or any of them, Stronghold Crusader? I've seen some cool custom maps like Minas Tirith, Osgiliath, um, Helm's Deep, and uh, even some stuff from like Game of Thrones. Should we check that out? Where are you guys going? Did you think you found some secret portal to another realm? You know what? Fine. I'm going to. I'm going to do it. I'm going to give them access. There we go, Vikings. What say you? Do you march? Do you march over here? Or are you still thinking that this is the way? Well... This is awkward. In that... Oh my god, look at all this. We need tombstones for him. Look at this, man. The entire Mordorian army... 
is just chilling over here having... Are they making s'mores? I don't know. So this is... Is this the aftermath? I mean... They breached the walls, right? Oh, there we go. We got some fires going. I even had some, like, uh... Professional soldiers. But let's see how many people... They've lost a lot of people. You know what? Here we go. Creative mode. Let's get more. Go forth, gentlemen. Save the kingdom. Save yourselves. The 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 end, the line of men is over. What did, what did Denethor do before he like? Oh my gosh! I wish we could do that. I wish we could do that. Look at this tower. These guys are like absolute veterans. A lot of the archers. You'll see this little gold uh, ridge around it. That means they're like really really good. By the way, it means they're fantastical. So yeah. All right. Well, Osgiliath was almost amazing. Although it's completely raised to the ground. Anything but these outposts. How come the trolls don't attack the outpost? Look at this. There's people running by. Like, oh, they're, they're getting chased. They're getting chased by the Vikings, a.k.a. the orcs here. They're like, yeah, mate, we gotta go. Look at it. These, these guys actually have them. I guess, I don't know. What if we... I think I have to go to creative mode and then... Uh, let's go with the Viking attacks happen. I don't know if that changes the AI. It does not. Another thing that we could do is we could add dragons for, like, the ring wraiths. Dragons have sighted! So that's what, five, six, seven, eight, and then one little baby one. We got nine ring wraiths, baby. Fly flying on Nazgul. So how does that affect things? We've got- oh man, imagine if Smog. See, that was the thing, right? Supposedly, The Hobbit was all about Gandalf going on a mission to basically- or convincing the dwarves, like, Oh, maybe we should just, like, I don't know, retake your throne and, oh, by the way, we gotta kill a dragon. Mainly because he's like, I don't want, you know, the Necromancer, aka Sauron himself. You know, the nemesis of the free world and the free peoples. And the free races, because what? Elves, dwarves, hobbits is- Hobbits is! Man, I tell you what, they're getting wrecked now. Oh, dude, this is some Game of Thrones type stuff when they get on- When they hover over it and just do dragons. See, that's a thing! Someone would have came across with a Game of Thrones mod. Even if it was like cosmetic or added some things, you'd have Game of Thrones, dude. Game of Thrones, Lord of the Rings. I mean, it would all have happened if we had a little bit of mod support. This is dope. Seeing that on fire looks like a beacon fire, which would be something else cool. Okay, you know what? I've had enough of this ridiculousness. Alright, boys, I want you to attack. Form up. This is Theoden King in his Rohirrim. What news from the Riddermark? What business do a man, an elf, and a dwarf have in Rohan? And then you get, like, worm tongue go doing his worm tonguey things, you know? He's just so weird, dude. Alright, what do we got? Well, we will conquer them! I guess they're, n they're not meeting out on the battlefield, but you know what? It is what it is, and sometimes you have to is it. To diz it. As... I have no idea what I'm talking about, because I'm trying to be like, Why- why did this idea not work as brilliantly as we wanted, and now it's turned into an absolute shamakery? You know what? Uh, let's go. Let's delete some walls and see what happens. I don't know. What are you guys doing over here? So we can have some spanking grand battles here. Look at this. They're over here and are like, ah, charge! And they're actually doing a fairly decent job. But man, I tell you what. I don't know. I wonder how you could do... Um, I almost wonder... What if someone made, like, a stronghold that was in this style of... You know this art style, or whatever, this low-poly style, then you could have, perchance, larger battles. I really want to recreate some cool, um, battles and castles and sieges from Game of Thrones and Lord of the Rings. I think it'd be a fun series. I'm gonna have to probably bounce around between games, because clearly you can see that Kingdoms and Castles is awesome for a kingdom-building game. But, you know, a lot more needs to be done. For it to be usable for these epic-style battles. So yes, back to Toastopia. 
Check this out, man. All right, first off, what do we got going on over here? Can I sell anything good? I've learned a couple things. We haven't set our first outpost because I really got to get the economy here strong. But the idea was, look at this. I almost saw this as kind of like... I want to build a fort over here, and then I want to have this being wild forest. Obviously, we're going to have woodcutters in there, but a castle at this point to protect it because I've noticed that the Vikings like to land here and here and then attack my castle. Now, it's pretty well defended, and we just put our wooden walls up around the outer... Like, this is going to be the main kingdom. We're going to have lots of farmland here, and then I wanted to have a big fort down here. You know, and this is, like, kind of reminded me of, like, if you were to combine Cuba with the state of Louisiana. So I called it Louisa Cuba or Cubiana. I forgot what I called it, but you know, we called it some hybrid of those two places. And then we've got the island of Tasmania and the island of Australia. And obviously <laughs> it's not like Australia because in the middle isn't desert. It is beautiful lush forest, but you know what? Maybe in another time it was like that. This is the only copper mine on the island. Um, and we're slowly expanding northwards, but that's kind of where the castle sits right now. It's pretty well defended, I think, for, you know, where we are in history right now. We've got 247 people. Um, remember when we got over 1,000 people? There's so much we've done in Kingdoms and Castles. And when you really think about it, there's a lot of stuff that could be done to the game. And I say, you know what? Let the community come up with it. Give us the tools, and we'll sell you more games. And we'll have a lot more fun playing it. I just, I've always believed that, you know, with game development. is like, you give the people the power to c just use their imaginations and amazing things will happen. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching another episode of Kingdoms and Castles. Uh, and our <clears throat> Battle of Minas Tirith and uh, <clears throat> Pelennor Fields. Let me know if you want to see any other historical battles or certain maps. You know, maybe they'd be Lord of the Rings, Game of Thrones, or any other thereof. They'd have to be medieval-based. We couldn't do Star Wars, obviously. But let me know, and I'll see you guys in the next video.